Hi, we're doing a routine today for joint hypermobility. So specifically for those who have either Stanlos syndrome and any kind of connective tissue or joint hypermobility issues, this is for you. So a couple things to keep in mind. For this routine, I do have a light hand weight. So anything from one to five pounds would be fine or just a bottle of water is great. Okay, so have that close. And another thing to know is we are doing a routine that is really going to help you strengthen your muscles and feel good on your joints. When you have joint hypermobility, what you wanna avoid is big end range motions and a lot of stretching. So we're gonna bring that in to help you strengthen and really feel good in your body. So have that hand weight close and we're gonna start on our backs. So we're gonna have our feet hip distance apart, arms down at your sides. And I want you to take an inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna curl your tailbone and we're gonna roll ourselves up into a bridge position. Okay, inhale at the top, exhale, curl from the top and roll yourself down. And we're gonna do a few like this. So again, you inhale at the bottom, exhale. I want you to try to curl your tailbone first. Feel like you're rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, pause at the top. Keep your hips level and roll back down. So Pilates really lends itself well to joint hypermobility issues because again, we're keeping you in a really safe range of motion and strengthening you in that place. That's what you want for joint hypermobility. So you'll see at the top, I am not going into a back bend. I don't want you there. I just want you in this straight line and then you roll back down. Because if you do have hypermobility, you've probably been told sometime in your life, oh, awesome, look at how flexible you are. That's great, let's see if you can do more. And the thing is, you can. Your body lets you do that, but that's not safe for you and it doesn't feel good. You can do it, but you'll pay for that. So what we wanna do is take you in a little bit from that big range of motion and really then work in that safe range to help you get stronger. So I want you to roll up, stay there for me, and you're gonna lower down just a couple inches and press back up, lower, lift. And again, you'll see I'm kind of right in this mid range of motion. I'm not going as high as I possibly can. So if you're not used to working like this, if you're used to working into those big back bends, this'll take a little bit of practice. Okay, last one, and then roll back down. I just wanna show you what is possible even with those kind of issues, okay? Hands behind your head. So your thumbs are gonna go at the base of your skull, elbows are wide, and I want you to exhale and roll up to a crunch, and then inhale back down. So when I come up, my tailbone stays down. Don't let your tail lift. So you keep that tailbone nice and flat and you're doing that chest lift or a curl to work into the abs. I can see my elbows. They're like just in my peripheral vision here. Okay, last one, roll up, stay there. Inhale, twist to your left, exhale, center. Inhale, twist to the right, exhale, center. So I'm maintaining my crunch and just getting into my obliques. You're doing great. Come to center and roll back down. Nice job. Arms come down to your sides again. So you're gonna reach the left leg out long, hug that right knee in, just give it a little squeeze. And then we're gonna reach the right leg up towards the ceiling, point your toes. And I just want you to draw little circles in the air, just about the size of a basketball or a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're really working through, again, the joint into some muscles. Reverse directions, five, four, Three, this is getting into your abs as well. Two, one, nice job. Hug that knee in and we'll just switch legs. 
So left leg in, give it a little squeeze, reach it up, point the toes, and little circles. You're trying to keep the rest of your body still if possible. That's where kind of that abdominal work comes in. So try not to let your hips shift around or your back arch or wobble. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job and hug that knee in. And then we're gonna roll onto our left side. So you're gonna be on your elbow here. So I wanna work into a little bit of joint work and strengthening in your elbow. And we're gonna work into the leg as well. So what you'll find is that bottom knee is bent and my top leg is lifted at hip height, okay? Feel like your ribs are lifting up, flex the top foot and bring it forward and then point to bring it back. So it's an inhale and exhale. So here too, we are strengthening in the range of motion that you have. What we wanna do with hypermobility is almost feel like we are giving your body a compression wrap, okay? Like we're putting the entire, giving your whole body a big hug and kind of kind of bringing it all in. That's what I want you to feel. Your body needs that kind of boundary so it doesn't feel like it can just move all over the place in an uncontrolled way. Okay, one more. Keep the toes pointed. Come forward, up, and around. So we're finding those circles again. Check in with your shoulder that you're not just sinking down. So I want you to press away from your elbow. One more, switch directions. And you're probably feeling your booty working at this point. That's good, it is, it should be. Good, three, two, one. Nice job, bring it down. I want your knees together. And you're gonna shift your legs back now. So now I have a straight line from my head through my chest thighs to my knees, okay? Elbows in the same spot. You're gonna lift your hips up and then down. So where you need to be aware is the shoulder that you're feeling really strong, pressing down into that elbow for shoulder stabilization, okay? Three and two, last one. Nice job. We're gonna press up and just keep your knees bent to give a little bit of a side stretch. And then we'll find the other side. <clears throat> so have your elbow, again, underneath your shoulder. My bottom knee is bent. Hips are stacked, so we're finding that control again everywhere. Everything's purposeful movement. Flex your foot, inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, point and bring it back. So when you do have that hypermobility, you probably feel that you wanna stretch, things feel tight. The problem is I don't ever want you stretching into your full end range, it's actually just gonna irritate things more. So things like foam rolling or even massage sometimes can feel really good because it's gonna help loosen up your muscles without you having to stretch so deep into those movements. Or really light stretches like we just did that side stretch that doesn't go into your full range, that would be okay. But that's why things such as yoga, and I love yoga, I do yoga, but I don't recommend it for hypermobile folks, okay? Because it's just taking that mobility you have and pushing it even more, 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 more. Okay, now keep them pointed forward, up, and around. And if you know, again, how to control it, it might be okay. But if you're just starting out, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that as a starting point. Good, switch directions. Nice, three more. Three, two, watch the shoulder so you're not sinking. One, great job, rest. 
press yourself up. And again, it's just a gentle, small little side stretch here. Good job. So we are gonna come onto all fours. And this is where our weight is going to come in. So one thing I wanna talk about is your position on your hands and through your arms with that hypermobility. So what tends to happen is you wanna lock out your elbow and you'll see they kinda of turn forward, they hyperextend. And what this does is it causes a lot of pain in the wrist and it has you sink into the shoulders. So what you really need to watch for is first push away from your hands, second turn so that that bend in your elbow, the crease, they're facing each other. And then finally, the big key, bend your elbows slightly. And what happens is now my triceps, my actual muscles have to work instead of me just hanging out on those joints. All right, so anytime you're doing anything on hands and knees or a plank position, you're gonna watch that. You have a slight bend in your elbow, they're turned in slightly, and you're really secure. So now that we're here, I have my knees underneath my hips, and I am going to bring the weight into my left hand. You're gonna take it back <coughs> and in. So we're doing a tricep press. Again, we wanna get strength into our muscles. And if this is not a happy position for you at all, that's totally fine. See if you can do your tricep press right here or just right here is okay. All right, I'm fine with any of those, but if you wanna work a little bit into that all fours position, that's where I'll be, okay? But those are all great options. Three, two, one. Nice job. Now, what we're gonna do is take the weight, and again, it's optional, you can do this without the weight, put it behind your left knee. So now I'm on all fours again, I'm gonna check the position of my arms, and I'm taking the weight up and down. Okay, so same, when you get up there with the leg, check and make sure you're not going into a big arch in your back. Think of everything being really stable and still. <clears throat> Okay, so try not to shift your weight to the right. It's almost like home base. You're trying to teach your body what home base is again. You're bringing it back to center. Last two. One. Nice job, come back in. And we're gonna do all that on the other side. So I'll turn so you can see me. <clears throat> So check with those arms and elbows again. I'm gonna bring my elbow to my side and take it back and in. Remember your options. You can come up to your knees to do this in that bent over position if you need to give that wrist a break. I know it can be a position we're not used to, but as we get stronger, it will become much more comfortable and doable. And then you'll feel more empowered to try different workouts. That's really what I want for you. This is an idea of some great moves you can do. One more, but I want you to feel empowered to try different things that feel safe. All right, so that weight's gonna go behind your knee. And when you're ready, So I find myself constantly checking my arm position to make sure I'm not just locking and hanging on my joints because it does feel really natural when you're hypermobile to do that, but it's not the happiest place for your body. Okay, two more. Nice job, bring that weight in and you can set that to the side and then turn for me and we're gonna be seated. So we're gonna have our legs out mat distance apart.
pull your toes back towards you and sit up nice and tall. So you want to try to have both sit bones down. We're going to bring our hands behind our head and inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate to the left. Center. So we're getting a little bit of motion, but in that upper spine, which we tend to miss, and it's an active range of motion. So you're not just letting yourself flop into a stretch. You're using the muscles in your back, in your legs, finding posture, all really important. One more each side. So just make sure you keep yourself even <laughs> and on the side that'll keep you even. Nice job. And then we're going to zip the legs together and arms will come up towards the ceiling and you're going to do a forward fold. But again, you're not just falling into that deep stretch. You're going to roll yourself back up. Okay. So arms sweep to the side. Exhale. I'm rounding in a very controlled place because I'm just going to restack and come right back up. One more. Nice job. Sweep the arms up. Bring them back down through center. Arms down at your sides. One more big inhale. And exhale. Nice job. That was great. Thank you so much for joining me. That routine is safe enough. You could do it every day, especially as you're starting to build that idea of strength. And then you can move on to some of my other Pilates videos to help give you that feeling of empowerment in your own body. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.